let me give you a detail, but it's, it can be, it's very helpful. You do a thing now. I mean, yesterday I was at my friend's house and uh, it was nothing special in the morning. Well, I had a good, the first recording that I did that day, I think, was there. That was good, but I did that on the, on the deck, on the veranda. But, um, oh, she said, um, I want to get that hedge cut. I said, shall we do it now? This was after dinner and after lunch. We both got up immediately, went out and did it. And we didn't only just do that where we cleared the driveway hedge, but we then did another big hedge, which is a oh, job in itself. And then um, I knew she wanted the lawn done. And I hadn't done the lawn there for a year, a year or so because, mm, mm, well, it wasn't really appreciated by everyone in the house of me doing it, so I didn't. And um, so I did all the bad bits of it on the spot, got it down to something that, you know, in a week's time will be really manageable. And then we did something else where we started to get to work on another low hedge, getting all the long sort of twitch grass that had inundated the hedge, starting to get it out. We got halfway along it. Just because we were willing, I mean, her terminology, oh, you have to throw energy into it. My energy, you know, and, and, and then God does the rest, so to speak. But she doesn't really quite link it to God. It was sort of, but... My view was, uh, oh, you do it immediately. You got time now. Now is the time you've got, and and it doesn't become some massive thing that you must do at some point in the future. You do it now, and it's not so massive once you start. God comes to the party, and you get through it. You know, and well, we had three of us on it and in the end you know third party was encouraged to help and uh got an amazing lot done but you know so often it's now don't put it off now is the time the thoughts come to you Are you sure you can't do it now you know people say oh we must done um, we must meet. Yes, we must meet. No, 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 no. Yeah, um, you, you're free now? Oh. And, you know, I amaze people because, oh, yes, they are free now, so that's it. We meet now. You know, you're on the phone to someone. Um, which, can I see something or other? Are you free now? You, you, well, yes, okay, yes, yes, okay. Well, I'll be about 10 minutes. I'm 10 minutes away. You know, you do it now. And sometimes, you know, I'm thinking of my usual routine of, um, in the morning and, and something occurs to me and I think, no, I'll do that now. The day is going to be different. See what God has for today. I do it now. So I postpone all those things like, you know, your exercises and meditation and dictation and so on. I just go and do it. I mean, it may even be just going to the market or something, but now is the time. And God has a much better plan for your day than you have so often. And if he hasn't, well, that's fine. You come back and you carry on with your, your routine. Prioritizing. That's another great principle, you know, to prioritize. So often people get snowed under by so many things they need to do, they end up preoccupied doing not the one that's priority. It's a bit like the principle of rushing. To really rush, slow down. Because then your collective mind 
will prioritize and use the time far more sparingly and well. So if you're really in a hurry, you slow down. Whereas some people in a hurry just hurry faster and of course they have an accident and they actually waste their time doing the trivial instead of the thing that really needs to be done. So you learn as an economist, so to speak, and I mean a real economist, not a theoretician now, which I am, but uh, I mean a real economist. You're economic with your time, you prioritize. When something goes wrong, you minimize collateral damage. You're absolutely cool. There's no panic or fret. After all, God runs the universe, not chance, you see. So you just say, oh, I wonder what God wants me to do here. What needs to be done? No panic, no fret. Very earnest, of course, but no panic. And now is the time so often to do that which God has just inspired into your mind to do. Um, I don't mean act carelessly, but you know, you suddenly feel, oh, I should see so-and-so. I'd like to see so-and-so. All right, get on with it. Now is the time. Go and see him. And you find you just arrived on the right day, in the right way, in the right frame of mind to bless them. And one thing leads to another, not what you thought. You might end up finding they're not in Eden. And, you know, you go and do something else on the way home. Or in my case, you know, you, you talk to someone that you didn't expect to even meet, probably never met before. But it's a meaningful meeting, and it lasted a few minutes perhaps, or less than a minute. And I leave them my card, and perhaps they'll listen to my recordings, and perhaps they'll be blessed. How wonderful. You start to feel the reality of God in your life. Just wonderful. Love you, Dad.